What is up guys? I hope you're doing well. I unfortunately have the COVID virus, but I'm finally feeling well enough to go fishing. As you can probably tell, it sounds like I swallowed a whole bucket of frogs. But anyways, we're going to take a very quick trip to the Sabine River. It's probably going to be about noon by the time I get out there. So I'm going to grab a few things, go back to that same Highline Cove, and just see what I can do to expand on that. It's a brand new area for me. I don't know if I'm going to try any other places, being it's such a short window to fish. So today's conditions, uh, we've had like 10 inches of rain so i know this sabine's going to be pretty trash plus we had a week of winter show up it was like 19 degrees for the week of christmas so we're going to see if we can end 2022 with a five bass limit let's go get on the water You would think there'd be one or two back there. Got that one. <laughs> Old Senko. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we have number one. We're going to do our best five today. Let's see if we have number one. barely counts <laughs> you are a good 12 incher on the money we're gonna get rid of you hopefully that's not my cinco <laughs> okay we got number one out of the way Back in there is good. Only problem is private. There's a bite. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're gonna help the team. You might be a Louisiana team. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, so he touches barely on that side. Let's see about this side. Let's see about this side. One thing you can flip them. They'll be longer on one side or the other. See how he's quarter inch shorter. So we're gonna flip him one more time. Nope. We just gonna throw him back. All right, well, old Cinco it is, it's looking like. Well, give 
them what they want. This one's definitely number two, but I think he inhaled it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Got him kind of tongue hooked, so that's definitely number two. So we're just going to drop it back immediately. That's a good pound fish for out here. So. Yep, it looks like it's going to be a Cinco kind of deal. Well, since we're not gonna live well that one just because he wasn't hooked good, we're just gonna call him a pound and a half. So there's like a back here, flat, flat. Might be stacked up here today. That's the two bites and two casts. We will see. It's right back here on this flat. See if we can find something worth playing with. It would be awesome to go way back there, but there's some. Oh, there's a bite. Missed him. Where I'm about to reel beside, there's some uh, T post. Ain't no telling what else them Louisiana folks got sunk below the surface to. Tear your stuff up because they will do it. It's kind of sad, but it is what it is. There's another bite. Small one. Come off. That's all right. Didn't want him to tear up my Cinco. Hmm, so maybe in these little back flats. I'm those up there and cast as far as I can in there, but by law your boat can't cross the line. In case any of y'all are curious. But I can go all the way back there, I can cast all in here, so we got plenty we can hit. Hello. Oh no, God, I should have retired, Dad gummit. I think I might have been a bow fan. Really? <laughs> Big old bow fan, maybe that's what hit me. A little bass. All right, that might be number two, or actually number three since we threw number two back let's find out well excite baits for you a little mad crawl let's see he is probably gonna be shy i think he's gonna be shy he's gonna be shy <laughs> That's okay. They fun to catch. 
So that's our new little <laughs> Ned rig from Excite. I just hooked one here a second ago. I don't think he was a little fella. It's crazy. Right there. Basically in my shadow. <laughs> Fish out here love these little crawfish. A lot of little activity out here. Keep wanting to work my way back over there, but bites are happening here, so we're gonna stay where the bites are. Oh, I had that one. Felt decent. Decent 11 and 3 quarter inch fish. <laughs> See? We're right where we're supposed to be. <laughs> we're not over the line. <laughs> Looked like the line originally started back that way and they worked it out. You can see, there's their other little blockage thing. That might be a color thing, so... <coughs> that black and blue I want another one I heard him way back here probably should be throwing the Cinco back this far but There's one finally. Small. Might be a keeper in Louisiana, but we go by Texas. <laughs> wow. Way back here. Here we go. A little bit bite. <laughs> uh. 
That's a better one. <laughs> oh, he's hooked on the side. That's why it feels better. <laughs> I guarantee he's going to be a possible contender. Let's see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Twelve and a quarter, twelve and a quarter. <laughs> this is going to be my smallest five bass limit ever. <laughs> That's okay. It's a perfect way to battle COVID. Go fishing. Bass, that's a good one. It's a good one. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna be keeper number four. Good fish. All right. <laughs> On our new little Ned rig. Bad dude right there. Y'all hadn't seen that a whole lot. So that excite mad curl junior. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for 2022. Ended the last day of the year with a five bass limit, at like a whopping four and a half pounds. I didn't even weigh them this time. Did get a 12 and a half incher, like right at the boat ramp as I was leaving. So, hey, we did it. We got our limit. We defeated the Sabine. But, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. I promise in the next video, we will be 100%. So, hopefully, we'll catch a few more fish. Y'all keep God first in your life. We'll see you next time.